So today's topic is decimal time conversion. That's where I give you something like 5 hours 15 minutes. And you need to write that as 5 point something hours. How are we going to do that? Some people will try to do this. This is not correct. Don't do this. They try to go 5.15. This is not correct. Why not? Well, because this is 15 hundredths, but this is 15 minutes, which is 15 sixtieths of an hour. It's not 0.15. Never has been, never will be. What we've got to do is look at this 15 minutes. Let me get another colour. Look at this 15 minutes here. How much of an hour is that? Well, the 15 minutes is 15 sixtieths of an hour. How do I turn 15 sixtieths into a decimal? You could do a division or you could get your calculator and go 15 divided by 60. But actually there's a quicker way for this one. 15 out of 60 is the same as 1 out of 4. This is a quarter of an hour. And if it's a quarter of an hour, that means that 5 hours 15 minutes is going to be the same as, what's a quarter in a decimal? It's 0.25. Does that make sense? We can't just go 0.15. It's not 15 out of 100. It's 15 out of 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour. It's a quarter of an hour, 0.25. Let's try another one. Just checking my notes. Okay. 3 hours, 48 minutes. Okay. Look at that 48 minutes. I can't go 3.48. Not correct. The 48 minutes is 48 out of 60, not 48 out of 100. But 48 out of 60, how am I going to make that a decimal? Again, you can look for a simplified fraction, but you can actually just get your calculator and ask your calculator for 48 divided by 60. And it says that is 0 0.8, which means 3 hours 48 minutes is 3.8 hours. Simple as that. Not 0 0.48, it's 48 sixtieths, not 48 hundredths. Work that out as a decimal, 3.8. Let me give you a couple more. All right, seven minutes, I can't write minutes tonight. Seven minutes, three seconds. By the way, notice the abbreviation for seconds, just a single S. Okay, seven minutes, three seconds. I need to work out the three seconds as a decimal. Once again, just to make it clear, it's not the same as 7.3 minutes. That would be 3 tenths. It's 3 sixtieths, not 3 tenths. It's not 7.03 minutes. That would be 3 hundredths. I need 3 sixtieths. Be careful. I see so many of my students trying to do this. That will never be the case. There are 60 seconds in a minute, not 100 or 10. Don't try that. Instead, treat this as 3 sixtieths. I need that as a decimal. If you're not sure, you can get your calculator. 3 divided by 60 is 0 0.05, which means this 7 minutes 3 seconds is 7.05 
minutes. Not 0.3, not 0.03, but 3 out of 60, which is actually 1 20th 0.05. Two more. 18 minutes, 20 seconds. This one, because sometimes you won't get a nice decimal. This is 20 out of 60. If you're thinking about fractions, that's one third. If you get your, your calculator to work it out, your calculator is going to tell you 0 0.3333, and it's going to keep going forever. That's a recurring sign. It's going to keep going forever. Which means this, 80 minutes 20 seconds, is actually 18.3 recurring minutes. There's no nice way to write that. It's a recurring decimal. And you could write as many threes as you needed for a given problem. And just to show you that it can be done, seven, I need a bit more space. Seven hours, 35 minutes and 14 seconds. And we're just going to build it up gradually till the end. I want seven point something hours. Okay, look at this bit first. That's 14 out of 60. I'm not going to try and convert it. I'm going to get my calculator. 14 out of 60 is 0 0.2333 going on forever. Okay, which means we get another colour. Let's try this one. Which means this bit here is 35. That was a messy five. Is 35.2333 recurring minutes. But I want that in hours. So I'm going to get that number and divide it by 60 to get the number of hours. Now, if I've already got this number in my calculator, I don't have to type it again. Just add 35 and then divide by 60. And I've got 0 0.587 and then two recurring, two, 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 two forever which means my whole big problem, this thing is actually 7.5872 recurring hours. We just went step by step by step. You just have to remember they're not decimals, they're out of 60. If you had days and hours, it would be number of hours out of 24 and so on. Now, the same process works in reverse. I'm going to start with a really easy and obvious example, just to make the point. 1.5 hours. Now, when you see 1.5 hours, you straight away think 0.5 is a half, that's one and a half hours, and half an hour is 30 minutes. So that's one hour and 30 minutes. No one looking at that is going to think it's one hour five minutes or one hour fifty minutes. Both of these are incorrect and they're obvious. No one does this. And yet, when I go 30.4 hours, because it is no longer obvious, 0.5 is a half, 0.4 is different. I sometimes get students trying to tell me that this is 30 hours and 4 minutes. No, it isn't. This is 4 sixtieths, this is 4 tenths. Sometimes they try to tell me it's 30 hours and 40 
minutes because they recognize this is ridiculous and they try this. But again, no it isn't. That's 40 out of 60. This is 40 out of 100, 4 out of 10. To work this out, we can't do it this way. It doesn't work. What we have to do is have a look at this point 4. It's point 0.4 of an hour. I'm just going to put my pen in. It's point 0.4 of an hour. Well, how many minutes is that? Isn't it 0.4 multiplied by 60 minutes in an hour? And you can get your calculator and ask it for 0.4, whoops, 0.4 times 60, which is 24. Which means this one here is 30 hours, 24 minutes. In fact, if you're clever, you might have noticed that this is more than 24 hours. So you could even write this as one day. How much is left? Six hours, 24 minutes. Let me give you a couple more. Okay. Seventeen point two minutes. So I want minutes and seconds. Okay. It's not seventeen minutes and twenty seconds or seventeen minutes and two seconds. This is two tenths. But if I've got point two minutes and I multiply it by the number of seconds in a minute. I'll get the number of seconds that is, 0.2 times 60, 12 seconds, which means this must be 17 minutes and 12 seconds. One more that involves a couple of steps. That's not right. Yes, it is. Let me give you... This one is very tempting for my students to try to do this. They want to say that it's 12 hours and 34 minutes. They just can't resist doing that because it's 0.34, it must be 34 minutes. It isn't. This is 34 out of 100. This is 34 out of 60. They are not the same. We need to do it like this. So, 0.34 hours times 60 to get minutes, which is 0.34 times 60, 20.4 minutes. That's interesting, isn't it? because I've still got a decimal. Actually, I can go another step, can't I? Because as, minutes, as well as minutes, I've got seconds to use. So I, while I can write this as 12 hours, whoops, 12 hours, 20.4 minutes, it would be much more satisfying to turn that into seconds. So 0.4, times 60 will give me the number of seconds. We actually did this just before, didn't we? 24. So this is actually 12 hours, 20 minutes, and 24 seconds. Remember, you can't write decimal hours as number of minutes, and you can't conversely have 24 seconds and write 20.24. You can't do it by hundreds and decimals. You must do it by the right numbers, 60s. If they're days, 24s.